I'm Kick and Robert Schwartz here at Princeton Review and Premier College Guidance. Let's touch on, now we're talking about college versus major and return on investment and thinking about not just a college, but also what you want to accomplish with it, when, what you expect to get paid at it, what's rewarding, what's not, all that good stuff. And that was awesome. You talked about the four top uh, um, subjects, basically, you can study and what they get paid versus the four lowest. But one returns something different. One returns money, one returns... Uh, I guess, uh, a reward in helping people. Absolutely. So that's okay. Absolutely. But it, it's good to be enlightened on what, what, what your expectations need to be, right? Exactly. And that's the key, knowing what, what's going to lay ahead of you based on the choices you make. Yeah. So you're not surprised going, hey, I got this English degree, and I'm not going to make that? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing, too, is you also left us with the idea that 57% of all families don't think college is worth it. Yeah. And i got to tell you the truth. You've heard me say it before. I'm one of those guys where I say, I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. Interesting. You know, I, Interesting. I've seen... People in my family that have gone that really don't have great careers, and then people in my family that don't that have great careers. See, we're on the other side of the fence, huh, Robert? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, these are educational fools that go and get masters and all that good stuff. But I'm a, I'm a firm believer of it. So let's talk about now that you've chosen or think you know where you want to go. Let's talk about how to get in there. Yeah, perfect. So one thing I will say, you know, for me, it is worth it. No matter what, where you go to school. It will end up paying itself off financially, but more importantly, again, that experience. I do think there's something when you're talking to somebody who went to school, went to college, there's something about their experience that, you know, in those late teens, early 20s that make a difference. So uh, it is about more than just the dollars, though. To your point, there's no doubt that you have to look long and hard about how are you going to gauge success? And, and it doesn't always reward you in dollars, certainly. But for those of you who are thinking, man, I'm going to go after one of those majors. They sounded pretty good. $120,000 a year sounds as an, av 30s. as an average salary. Sounds pretty good. Well, the, of course, there's a lot of folks thinking like you. And, and usually these are the most competitive majors. You need to do even more to stand out. And actually what happens when you're pursuing a career like this, they say, you know what? You're going to be in engineering we probably need to make sure you know how to do math and some science. Right? Yeah, that'd be good. That'd probably, that's probably going to be useful down there. History, road. not so much. So they say, <laughs> yeah, you got to take the SAT or the ACT because we want to make sure you're well-rounded. They have English, they have math, the, the whole nine. They say, you know what else? You have to take some specialized tests. These are exams uh -huh. called the subject test, SAT subject I test. I always learn something here. Yeah, these are dedicated, shorter, one-hour exams that you need to take. There's one for physics. There's one for calculus. There's high level tests and they need to make sure you can impress yourself or impress them in those exams. So I want to bring that up because it actually speaks volumes for what your preparation plan needs to be. Mm -hmm. That's where Princeton Review comes in. We can help you tackle those tests. Make sure you get in contact with us so you learn how to navigate them because these are barriers and again we like to look students over barriers. Well I love how you guys help them through that because it is stressful and there are certain things they can learn to make those tests easier, right Rob? Uh, it's certainly true, um, and to the point Ryan's making, it's a barrier that, and it, frankly, to your point as well, Don, many families don't even know these tests exist. I didn't. So, I didn't until just right now. So I didn't either. Call us, email us, talk to us about what are the questions you have, what are the goals you have in mind, and we can help you through this testing process. Uh, it may be as simple as, hey, you want to take a free practice test? We're happy to help you. That's what we do at Princeton Review. So reach out to us, any of the local offices, and that's not just Southern California, but anyone on, on the Don and Gino feed right now across the country, there's offices in, I believe it's 39 states, something along those lines. You got it. That's like I work here. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, we're here to help you. Reach out, ask us some questions, we will support you. Um, along the lines of, what do we find some schools, and you guys have seen me long enough where I, I always show up with a list. Well, I know, I, I love I, this. I brought a surprise list today. Um, and I, I've got a bit of a, a sponsor. Uh, you can take a look at the camera here. The sponsor of this list is the Princeton Review's Best 379 Colleges book. All the information you're going to hear in this list is in this book. It is one of the best pieces out there. I strongly, strongly recommend it. The author of the book is Rob Franek. You see him on national TV shows all the time. He's an amazing guy, a great speaker. And uh, this information comes from him and his team. And if you can't see it on the camera right now, because this is live on the, at, at donandgino.com, this thing is a Bible. <laughs> it is a college Bible. I mean, and I wish I would have had something like that, because I could have learned a lot about colleges, and I did not have something like that to review, or I might have thought uh, of other options. Best 25 bucks you're going to spend in college preparations to buy this book. There you go. Prince and review. So, what's the list? Well, I went through and I looked at some of the, the more popular majors and pulled a few schools 
that your listeners are probably unfamiliar with within that field. So remember, we talked at the very beginning about college versus major. Well, here are some majors at schools you may not be familiar with. So accounting is the first one that jumped up at me. First school I pulled was Drexel University in Pennsylvania. Huge school with a focus on business. They do a great job. They have a lot of internship programs that are built into their education. So when you leave, you have real world experience. Babson College in Massachusetts. I, I know uh, Ryan's got a little experience with the school there. Maybe he can touch on uh, on what he's seen from them. Indeed. So for me, you know, when I look at a school like Babson, who knows it unless you live probably within 20 miles of Babson, right? That's that's I've never heard nature. of it. There's 4,000 schools though out there. And Babson is a phenomenal program. I grew up in New York, so I know it well. I actually have some friends and colleagues who went there. And it's just it's so spot on for what your course of study is. It is a fantastic institution. Uh, for those who are thinking accounting in Southern California, Pepperdine is a great fit. That's a school you may not think of for accounting. Let's move on to a science like biology. University of New Mexico is a large school that has a terrific bio program that honestly, mediocre grades, mediocre test scores, you'll get in and probably pay less than you would staying in California. Uh, Colby College, one of those small liberal arts schools in Maine, outstanding education, terrific bio program. For those of you thinking, what about California? The University of the Pacific in Stockton, California, outstanding school. Wow. Okay. So you have a great list here, Rob. I love how you're always prepared. We're going to put this up on our Facebook page, uh, Don and Gino Radio, and we'll have this information for you. Um, love you guys coming here. Again, how can they get a hold of you? So you can email me if you'd like, Ryan Kick. It's R Kick, which is K I I C K at review.com, or you'd like to chat on the phone, 1 800 2 Review. There's a lot of folks even smarter than me that work here, and they'll be happy to help you. All right. Now, how about you, Mr. Premier College Guidance? Uh, I'm still going to give you my uh, Princeton Review address. It's the one I check uh, every single day. It's R. Schwartz. That's S-C-H-W-A-R-T-Z at review.com. All right. Thanks again for joining us on the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show. Check us out at donandgino.com. We'll be with you next week.